Hiya folks, just a little update vid on the um, Astra MOT. It actually failed the MOT. Uh, it failed on a couple of front brake lines that were corroded. The driver's seat was a little bit loose, one of the fixings that uh, come undone. And a couple of uh, advisories it had on the uh, the rear suspension arm or something. I can't remember now, but um, I can't do it myself to work the front brake lines. So to Jimmy, where he works, he's got um, a local garage there who have um, said they'll do it for 90 quid. So that's two front brake lines, so they're going to sort that out for us. So that'll be done while we're away on holiday. So there's no more I can do about the Astra at the moment. That's awaiting the uh, brake lines and the rear MOT, which is in Jimmy's hand. But before that, I've got to go down to London now. We're going to drive to Gatwick because we're going to uh, Greece, me and Sharon, while Jimmy's stuck, he's in, obviously, looking after the house and all that and the dogs. So uh, I'm going to have to have a look over the uh, ST220, just make sure it's all right for a long journey. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. It's uh, probably about 170 miles, 180 miles to um, Gatwick Airport from where we are. Just turn that back way and then go that way. There we go. So I'm going to do a little fluid check here and um, obviously make sure everything's in order. So this is the uh, power steering fluid here have a little look in there and on the line it's on the actual minimum line so um i'll probably put a little drop in that actually this is the uh water so let's just have a little look in there i'm not sure we've got enough in there yeah that's up to the level and i can see the antifreeze color in there so i'm happy with that so that can go back on do that up windscreen washer fluid I can see it in there but I probably will top that up in a second just gonna have a look at the uh, engine oil see what that is on the dipstick let's give it a wipe down first of all poke that back in all the way in and draw it back out again yeah that's fine look at that and it's clean oil because I've not long done an oil change on that so that's just underneath the, the top of the line there, so I'm happy with that. So we're good to go there. So I've got one of these tyre inflators, which comes in very handy. It's in the Dew one. I did a review on this. Um, great product. It's never failed to work. And it operates off of the 12-volt um, cigarette lighter socket. So we'll plug that in and just check the tyre pressures. Make sure we're all up to pressure. Right, so I'm just going to start the car up. There we go. Come around to the front of the car. Down here. Get the tube out of the back. Just make sure it's set on PSI, which it is. So we've got 27 PSI in there, so I'm going to... There we go, 34 PSI, I think I'll put in that. And I'm going to go around the rest of the wheels, folks, and do the same to them as well, get them pumped up. Right, that's it, gone round all the tyres now. There was only a couple of pounds low here and there, so um, I'm happy with that. Fluids have all been topped up and checked. Uh, brake fluid is okay as well, I've just checked that as well. So we can drop that bonnet down now. Just shut that. I wanted to get this valeted, but um, I didn't get a chance to do it, so um, I'll get that sorted out when we come back anyway. So uh, everything's okay in there. I've got the uh, baby seat to take out as well. Oh, right, let's get that out. Right, that can go in the house. So just coming out to the back here, folks, just to let you know that the... Uh, concrete plinth is now in so when I get back off my holidays maybe I want to try and start building this external workshop here tying onto the end of that one I've not done a lot in the workshop as you can see because um, it's in a right hole mess in here I've still got the compressor out because the wheel busted on the compressor as I showed in my last video and uh, the new wheels have now turned up so I've got them to put on and sort out here they are here I think they've got slightly different spindle size as well. I might have to put some bushes in there. So that's them. They're eight inch wheels, by the way. And uh, yeah, this is what um, Project Man is working on at the moment, which is these little Peugeot 
scooter, which this was all grey. If you go over to his channel, you'll see what he's done. He's painted all these up, giving it a service. It's basically on the last knockings of uh, getting it sorted out now, but um, obviously that's one of the reasons why I can't get in here. And I've got to sort my lighting out in here. I want to try and get some LED lights in here. But I've got to be careful because I don't just want to buy any LED lights. I want to buy ones that don't flicker in my camera. So that's something I've got to look into. I've still got to repair or update my powder coating oven, which I started stripping out the internal panels there because they all went rusty like that one at the back there, which uh, I've obviously had to strip down. But because the workshop's in such a blinking mess at the moment, I've not done anything in here for a good while. Well, until I strip the Reliant Regal engine down, which is still sitting on here. So that's that. Probably going to be using this very shortly because it will turn very shortly, the weather, I'm sure. The old diesel heater, which there's the uh, tank for it on the other side of the wall there. Let's just turn this light on in here. And as you can see, it's a bit of a blinking bomb sight in here. I've got two bikes on the go here, which <laughs> never got completed or, or continued, should I say. That's the uh, Mobilette, which is all sitting here, and also the... Um, Yamaha RSX100 there. I've got that big Honda lawnmower which I needed to powder coat, but because the powder coating oven is not. Oh, I've just seen a mouse. I've just seen a mouse run through there and down that hole. <laughs> Quite a big mouse and all. So I've still got mice problems in here. Just seen it. I wish I would have caught that on camera. Unbelievable. So there you go. I've got mice in here as well. Yeah, that floor gave way there. So that's obviously where they're coming in and out there. Look. All this to sort out. Look at this. Look. Unbelievable. That's why I've been disheartened to go in here and actually do any restoration work or repair work. Because you, you, you honestly, you don't want to do anything when you've gone in. And nine times out of ten, the little bits of work that I have done in here, I've, um, I can't find anything. Because things get moved and put away and whatever. I'm still looking down there for that mouse. <laughs> it was quite a big one at all. Anyway, that'll be repaired, that floor. Once I've got these lots out, this can all be sealed up then and get the mice out of here. I know I had mice in here, but uh, I've actually just seen it run across the floor. Right, let's turn the lights off and get out of here. So there you go, just a little update video, folks. Not much in it at all, apart from me just looking at these two cars and telling you about them, and also the plans in the workshop. So um, hopefully when we get back, I'm going to try and get that new workshop built and um, bring that to you as well. Yeah, that's about it, I'm afraid. So keep tuned. Do have a look at my uh, old videos if you want a little binge watch. There's some interesting stuff there. There's a few hundred videos on there on all different subjects, different cars, different vehicles, lots of lawnmower repairs and restoration. So do have a little binge watch, see if you like it. And if you do like it, hit the old subscribe button and uh, watch out for further episodes coming up very shortly. This is something I want to get repaired and get this back on the road there, which is the old uh, trotter van. I'm still waiting to rebuild the chassis and the engine. The bodywork's ready to go. And I didn't realise I've had that for nine years. I started the restoration on this channel nine years ago. There's over 40 videos on the work that I've done up until now, but um, we've not put a video out for a good two or three years on it now, so that's what I'm trying to get going with with that one. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye for now.